Bonjour, I'm Olivier and this is your Wine Rendezvous. Today a word maybe on how to read a French label. I'm, all, I'm sure you've all been faced uh, with this situation. You're at a wine shop and you try to grab a bottle. You're like, what is that? And then you're at a restaurant and you're like, you know, it's just too complicated. So it's actually a few things that you need to clearly understand uh, when it comes to French wine. First thing you need to understand is that we have a lot, a lot of wineries in France. We're looking at more than 150,000 of them. That is huge, okay, and especially considering that each year, each winery in France will make somewhere between three and ten different wines, and they all have their little range of whites, reds, rosés, uh, voilà, oak age or not. So voilà, each year we're looking at more than 500,000 different wines, and not different bottles, different wines that come on the market. So it's just a huge, huge mess. Uh, plus it's a pretty old system. So the French try to give a frame to this whole mess. Um, that was in 1938, and back at a time where the market was primarily domestic. Uh, so they started uh, creating a system which is called the AOC system. AOC stands for Appellation d'Origine Contrôlée. Uh, what is that? Literally in English it would be um, controlled origin uh, designation, okay, or something like this. Alors, the AOC is something you're going to be able to read on a label. Alors, let's take a look at a French label. Allez, let's grab two bottles. Um, alors, what do you read on a French label? If, no, yes, yes, whoops, no. Oh, there you go. We made it. Sweet. It's very artisanal, but it still works. Alors, there's two things that are pretty interesting on a wine label. One is here, and that's the name of the winery. Uh, it's either called Chateau, blah, 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 or sometimes it's called Domaine, blah, blah, blah. Here, if you look, whoa, at the bottom of the other label. Okay, Domaine de la Garenne versus uh, Chateau La Croix. Wow, du casse. Okay, um, so what does that mean? That's the name of the winery. As I said, 150,000 of them, so this you can just totally discard, huh? except there's a few famous names like Chateau Margot, Chateau Cheval Blanc, Chateau Dicam, and all these are quite well known in the world, but all these small wineries, forget it. And when you think about it, there's no brand of French wine. You won't find a, a Tubac Chac, a Yellow Tail, hein? voila. Um, alors, the other piece of information that is pretty Interesting when it comes to French wine. Oops, autofocus. Yes, it worked. Um, is this thing okay? Is this AOC here? You read Pomerol Appellation Pomerol Contrôlé. Okay, if you take a look at another bottle here, Sancerre, you see Appellation Sancerre Contrôlé. Alors, what are those things? What is it when it, you call a wine a Pomerol, a Chateau Neuf du Pape, a Margot? Sancerre, I'm back. See, I was boom, gone, back. Yeah, uh, a little action. Um, so what does that mean? Take, for instance, Sancerre. What does it take to call your wine Sancerre, to get that AOC? Well, first thing, I'm back again with my map of France. <coughs> um, Paris is here. Sancerre is a little village <coughs> here. Excuse me. So for your wine to be called Sancerre, well, your vineyards have to be in Sancerre. So all your grapes are grown in Sancerre. They're vinified in Sancerre. They're bottled in Sancerre, which guarantees that it reflects the uniqueness of the soil, uh, of the identity of your, of your little village of Sancerre. That's the first condition to be called Sancerre. But it's not enough. Just being in Sancerre won't have you automatically get that AOC. The second condition is that there's a winemaking agenda. There's a few rules that you need to stand by to, um, to get that, uh, that AOC the grapes, uh, it has to be 100% Char uh, Sauvignon Blanc, okay, in Sancerre. You cannot say, oh, let me add a bit of Chardonnay, make it a bit rounder, a bit, no, okay, it won't work. You need to have yields between X and Y to produce that much. You need to trim your vine in such and such way to, to plant them in such and such direction, just to guarantee that you and I and everybody, every time you buy your Sancerre, it's always gonna be this fruity, fresh, citrusy wine, okay, that every time you buy, uh, a Margot is going to be this elegant and nice blend of Cabernet and Merlot. Uh, every time you go for a Champagne, now Champagne is probably our most famous AOC in French, it's always going to taste as what you all know as being a, a Champagne. Okay? So an AOC, that's a pretty uh, informative thing. An AOC meaning comes from there. It's made like that so that you get a wine that has this very style. Okay? Alors, the little problem is that today in France we've reached more than 400 uh, different AOCs, so it's just 
a big mess. Okay, my recommendation is try to identify, maybe based on the grapes that you know you like, try to identify which French or even Italian or Spanish region, it works the same, they all copy the French, forget it. Uh, try to identify which region you like. Uh, if you like, for instance, uh, Chardonnay, white burgundy, you should love this. If you like Riesling, Alsace is your region. If you like Merlot, boom, go towards Bordeaux. Uh, and then once you've identified, you say, well, you know, I think I like Bordeaux. And Bordeaux is split into tons of little villages around this Bordeaux region that you're familiar with. Things like Margot, Pauillac, Pomerol, Saint-Emilion, Médoc, Sauterne. Okay, all these are little villages, each having a specific environment, a specific terroir, as we say in French. Hence, a specific AOC, AOC, a specific name. Okay, so basically, when it comes to reading a French label, oh, you have the mandatory labels and mentions like uh, the alcohol content, which is interesting. But voila, you have the name of the winery, which is interesting. But there's so many of them that it's not really helpful. And there's the AOC. So the idea is try to know which region you like, then head towards the AOCs. Okay. Um, let me think if I told you everything I should tell you. Uh, well, just one little detail. If your wine does not come with an AOC, because only 53% of French wine have an AOC, it's going to be called un vin de pays. Okay? You have many uh, wines that are called vin de pays doc, for instance. That's the vin de pays from the south of France. And even a bit lower in quality, le vin de table. Okay? Alors, just to, be, to have a better idea of what each region makes, uh, take a look uh, maybe at another little class on this site to, uh, to get a better understanding of the specificities of each region. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, I agree with you. French wines are a mess, but I think that's the pleasure of it. Voila. I look forward to seeing you very shortly on winerendezvous.com. Bye-bye.